as of right now, and this, this can change, but as of right now, based on the weather forecast we've received, um, we've set 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon as the point in time where we want everything complete. Um, at that point, from that point on, based on the track and the intensity and, uh, and the speed, um, that's when tropical force winds, heavy rains uh, are anticipated. So we backed up from that point in time, uh, and had to have a starting point, uh, so that we're, we're ensure any of the decisions which have yet to be made, both evacuations and the um, uh, pre-landfall declarations, et cetera, uh, are all in place and backed up from there. So that, that's kind of what drove this that hasn't been said already. So really, we're at, like you said, we're at that point now, we're, we're in the execution phase of this, of, of the actual event. For the check mm -hmm. So again, that's that's very fluid at this point, depending on you know which which way the storm goes as far as timing. But uh, the the plan is to put extra boats on um, once they shut down. Whoever's on the island stays, and they are, they're well versed in handling those folks. Okay. Um, I think uh, one of the big decisions for us as we move forward is deciding the coastal communities uh, how how we'll, uh, how we'll handle them. We'll discuss that here shortly. ready to go and can support uh, operations. Um, we're moving in some of our other crit critical leadership. They should be here by tomorrow morning. Um, we also have about 40 herbs that are on standby for this disaster. Some are going to be supporting this area. Um, we have two conference calls set up with this afternoon with the emergency managers to um, make sure that we're on board with the sheltering plan for relocation. That, that is a, that is a uh, um, significant possibility again. Forecast intensity of this storm, um, there's a good chance we're 